Hello everyone, welcome back to Cross Slash Game. It has been a while since my last video. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about uh, the whole Final Fantasy VII uh, Rebirth uh, announcement, so release date announcement. It's close, it's it's not too far now, um, and it's very exciting obviously that, that Square Enix is that confident with their game, they're just showing a lot of information. And, and part of what I wanted to kind of put out there today is is it right that Square Enix goes on to show that much about their game? I understand that it looks great. It, you know, remake was a great success. It's I played it not long ago again, uh, and and I and I can see why. You know, everyone is ranting and raving about it. Obviously, there's a lot more expectation around uh, these remakes because of the original, um, and so I think over time. I've become more and more comfortable and confident that Square Enix and develop the developers that are uh, making the, these games are in tune with what the the fans want out of the game, but also trying to add a little bit, a little bit more spice, a little bit more mix uh, to make it fresh for us and any new players to come. In saying that, does anyone remember back, you know, when we were kids uh, and you'd get like hyped? for a game you know oh it's been announced there's this new game coming out it looks great everyone's talking about it and all you could ever do is pretty much the, before i guess the time where internet was the the juggernaut that is now but you'd buy a magazine and you just flick through the pages and see all the games coming out have a little read about each one and go oh can't wait to play this this looks good uh that doesn't happen anymore and and the reason it's not happening really with especially with with the the, the Final Fantasy VII, um, it's just how big it is, right? So so Square Enix have clearly like mastered the art of development with this trilogy. So they they did spend a lot of time with in in the remake, you know, creating a good baseline and and getting really confident with their tools, and they put out a great product. Like I I'm. Final Fantasy 7 for whoever doesn't know is my favorite video game of all time and it is to many other people um, I'll be one of the people that will say that yep yeah, there was a few bits here and there that I didn't enjoy about the remake but overall it was a stellar reimagining uh, of that original game so of the mid Midgar portion of that original game um, but ultimately now with Rebirth is where we know the game opens up, so there's a lot more to show, there's a lot more to do. Um, but there's, there's a lot of story elements in there that, um, you know, I even though I've played the original, because this is a, still a reimagining of that original game, I don't want to be spoiled. Uh, I want to see how they did it. I want to know, like, when I play the game, I want to know the, the dialogues used and, and, and how they did camera work and, you know, the, the, the gameplay. And, and the one thing that I didn't enjoy with this TGS um, event recently is that they put out these two demos. And one of them, I think, is just exploration of an area close to Junon, which is fine. Um, and the other one is story-based, where Cloud is retelling the events of when him and Sephiroth went to Mount Nebel, you know, the, 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 the Nebelheim incident. Um, I don't mind that you put out a demo with some gameplay showing how it works and the battle system and all that. Even then, I, I just for context, I've not seen any of these these videos or, or gameplay gameplay videos. I've not seen any of it because I've made that decision to go radio sort of like media silent. I don't want to see anything. I don't want my experience to be spoiled. Um, so I've heard other YouTubers talk about it, their experience with it, but every time I I hear them talk. I just turn my phone upside down so I don't see the image. I don't kind of see what's going on. I just hear the excitement in their voice and everything that they're saying, which is which is great. Um, it does no there's not major major spoilers around uh, what's happening in 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 the, in the context of the story when they talk about these things because they're just talking about the, how they experienced it and the mechanics and and you know that's all that's all great. But it doesn't it doesn't ruin the flow of the experience for me. Uh, as much as seeing it because as soon as you see something then when you play the game oh you get to that part yeah i've seen this okay well this has been spoiled and I, and I get that there's a big threshold for some people what can be spoken about and, and said out loud 
around an upcoming game and what is spoiler territory in the sense that a major story plot point. Um, so that's where my issue with the second demo around Cloud and Sephiroth. That's a big scene, right? So for, for a long time, everyone was always speaking, oh, I hope we get to play with Sephiroth. Well, now you know you're going to play with Sephiroth. He's, they've, they've spoiled it. They've, they've, they've shown it to you. Um, you get to control him and do abilities and, and all that. And, and you know what? I, I really wish Square Enix would have held fire a little bit. I, it, it kind of chips away at the excitement that we all have out here around this game. And I don't, I don't want him to keep doing that. Um, Square Enix notoriously in the remake went all the way to the last release trailer and it sh just showed too much. It just shows too much. It's like Hollywood and their movie trailers, like three minute long movie trailers where they show all the set pieces for all the plot points and set pieces for the, for the movie. And when you go to watch it, well, uh, no longer, I'm not jump scaring at that one because I, I saw it coming in a trailer. Um, so it's, it's just things that I think Square... And I hope they do, because we're still not at the end. But I, I don't want them... If they release another trailer, just make it a little bit more ambiguous. Keep it keep it a bit more less... Don't show us too much. Show us a bit of gameplay, da-da-da. But don't don't go into the, the... Don't show me any cutscenes, basically. Don't show anything about the game. Leave the rest to us. To the day when that game is installed on our PlayStations and we can play it at our heart to our heart's content. Because trust me... Showing too much does hurt your marketing of the game. It does. It does. People people get a bit funny with things like that. Um, especially people like me who are big fans of the original. We are really looking forward to this game. And and I, I, and I get it, it's exciting. Everyone is singing the praises of, of, of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and how open it is, how brilliant it looks, how marvellous it plays. Um, but I do wonder if you can have too much of a good thing, you know, it's it's not out yet, so just leave it now, you've done two trailers, now you've done two demos, okay, fine, uh, you've allowed the, you know, the, 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 the streamers, the media to literally capture footage of their experience with the game, so that that's something that's very un, unheard of, um, and, and I, I just wish that ultimately they weren't allowed to show the footage, uh, because, it, it, you know, they can talk about their experience, and, and don't show the footage. Ma Maximilian Dude did a good one when initially when he, for remake, and he's talking about the things he's hearing, you know, like the the things he saw when he played, and the uh, the way that the characters spoke and interacted with each other, and everyone was just excited to hear him talk about it, but he, he couldn't show anything. But this time around, it was too much, and I for one have now decided to just close off to to, to the rest of anything that comes out from the the the, the Twitter account. The Instagram account, the YouTube accounts, like all the all the people I follow who literally love Final Fantasy, I have to stop myself uh, from watching some of their videos because it is very much revealing. Um, so yeah, like Zach, you know, why did you go and show more Zach on the second trailer? Just leave it. Just leave it to 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 us to imagine what what could happen. Let us talk about things. Let us let us get hyped. You've gone and shown Zach in Midgar carrying Cloud, and you know, and and there's something clearly going on. Um, so yeah, maybe uh, I think people out there are saying already we're going to play with Zach. Why did we need to know that? That could have been such a great reveal, if it is true. I don't know if it is, but if it is true, we are. It's already been spoiled, and that's kind of my point with this video. Is marketing is important? I understand, but I think that there's someone out there in the marketing department that is really, you know. How, how they're convincing the devs, you know, to, to allow, to show certain parts of this game is beyond me. Um, but I, I would much rather they didn't because I really want to get to that day one and, and see that ca the case for my Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and be, like, overwhelmed with excitement. Um, I don't want to have any images in my head about what the game is and what it is. I just want to be able to play it fresh but blind. In any case, that's my opinion on, on what's going on at right now with this with the, with the media, with, 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 with the marketing of this game. And I really hope Square Enix now tone it down. They've done they've done a big push. Completely, everyone's forgotten about Final Fantasy 16. You know that that game it's like it didn't even get released. Um, so so let's just let's just relax now. Let us 
gather our thoughts again and and start building hype again and um, in any case guys if you're listening to this let me know in the comments below what you think is Square Enix showing too much is it is it you know should they just relax it a bit cold calm down let us let's enjoy this this journey um, or do you do you want to see more maybe do you, are you the type of person that needs to see more in order to make a decision to buy this game it looks amazing to me so far just from the two trailers that I saw but that's me so um, and I'm a big fan so it's a completely different perspective but uh, let me know in the comments below uh, be civil be nice like share and subscribe hope to see you guys in the next video bye